Hello students, welcome to Anne's classes. Let's do fractions, the multiple choice type questions from chapter 3. So this is found on page number 61 and the question is choose the correct answer from the options given below. Under this, the first question is Percy solved 2 7th part of an exercise while John solved 4 5th of it. Who solved the lesser part? Was it Mercy or was it John or was it none of these? So here we have, to, we have been told how much of an exercise Mercy has solved and how much of an exercise John has solved. Now who solved the lesser part? That means we have to compare 2 by 7 and 4 by 5. So let's compare that. 2 by 7 and 4 by 5. So when we compare, remember, if they are unlike fractions, unlike because their denominators are different, they're called unlike fractions, we have to make the denominators the same. That means we have to find the LCM of the denominators. So let's find the LCM of 7 and 5. So let's begin with 5. So 7 we'll write as it is, 5 ones are 5. Now we continue with 7, 1 and 1. So the LCM is... 5 into 7 and 5 sevens are 35. So we are going to use that as the common denominator. Now the denominator is the same. Okay. So here let's write. Now here 2 by 7. 7 into what will give us 35? Because 7 has now become 35. 7 if you multiply it by 5 will give us 35. Then we have to multiply this also by 5. So that becomes 10. 2 fives are 10. Let's go, go to the next one. Here the denominator is 5. 5 into what will give us 35? 5 into 7 will give us 35. So we multiply this also by 7 and 4 sevens are 28. So now we have two fractions here. 10 by 35 and 28 by 35. Now as you can see they are now like fractions. So when they are like fractions, it's easy to say which is the smaller one or which is the greater one because now the denominators are the same. As you can see, 10 is smaller than 28. So we can write it this way, 10 is smaller than 28. Now 10 is actually this fraction, isn't it? This one, 2 by 7 and 28 by 35 is this fraction 4 by 5. So from this we can make out 10 by 35 is smaller, that means 2 by 7 is smaller. That means who worked out 2 7th of the exercise? Mercy. She solved 2 7th. That means she did the lesser part. Her part was 10 by 35, whereas John's part was 28 by 35. So she did the lesser part. So the answer is option 1, Mercy. Question 2. Fractions 7 by 8, 17 by 12 and 41 by 48 in their form of equivalent fractions are one of these here, one of these answers we have to choose. Equivalent fractions means when you multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number, the fractions that you get are called equivalent fractions. Now here as you can see, they're all big numbers. That means when you reduce them to the lowest term, these are the answers that we should get. When you reduce these to the lowest term. Now let's try with these. So here we have 315 by 360. Let's try and see 315 by 360. First, we can divide both these numbers by 5. Let's divide both by 5 and see what we get. So here we have 30, isn't it? So 5 sixes are 30. There is one left, 15. 5 threes are 15. So we've got 63. Now let's try the number below. Here we have 360. Let's take 36. 5 into 7 is 36. So uh, 35. 5 sevens are 35. There is 1 left. So that's 10. 5 twos are 10. Then again, we can reduce this to the lowest term. 63 and 72 are both in the tables of 9. So let's write it down here. 63 by 72. Now both these can be reduced by 9. It's there in the tables of 9. So now what do we get? 9 into what is 63? 9 sevens are 63 and 9 eighths are 72. So the first fraction can be reduced, this one can be reduced to 7 by 8. This fraction. So I have reduced it to 7 by 8. Now let's look at the next one which is 510 by 360. 
So let's write it down 510 by 360. So first thing we can do is we can cancel a 0 here and a 0 here. So we have 51 by 36. Both are divisible by 3. Okay. Now 3 into what is 51? 3 into 17. 3 into 17 is 51. Now 3 into what is 36? 3 into 12. 12 threes are 36. So here we have 17 by 12. And here also this has been reduced to 17 by 12. So that means this is also correct. So that is 17 by 12. So now we have only this last fraction left. And this should be equal to 41 by 48. Only then we can say that these are the equivalent fractions of these numbers. So let's write that down 126 by 360. If you look at the numbers carefully, they're all they're both divisible by 6. So let's divide both by 6. So first if you take 12 here, 12, 6 2s are 12, 6 1s are 6, so that is 21. And in the denominator, 6, 6 are 36 and 0, 21 by 60. So now we have 21 by 60. This can be reduced again to the lowest term by 3. So divide both by 3. Now 3 into what is 21? 3 7s are 21 and 3 into 20 is 60. So here what are we getting? We are getting 7 by 20 when we reduce it to the lowest term. But look at this last one. This cannot be reduced to 41 by 48. This when we reduced, we got 7 by 20. So here we got 7 by 20. That means option A is not, option 1 is not the correct answer. The first two fractions are the same, but the third one is different. So option 1 is not the correct answer. So now let's go on to option 2. Now, just like we did for question 1, we have to reduce these fractions to the lowest term and see. So, let's take the first one here, that is 315 by 180. This is the first fraction in option 2. So, we are going to divide both by 5. Divide both by 5. So, again, we have 31. So, that is 5 sixes are 30. There is one left, 15. 5 threes are 15. So, here we get 63. And here we have 18, 5 threes are 15, 16, 17, 18, that's 30, 5 sixes are 30. So here we have 36. Now, we, let's write down 63 and 36. Now, first of all, children, can you see that 63 is greater than 36, whereas here 7 is smaller than 8. So if at all I reduce this to the lowest term, I'm not going to get this 7 by 8 because the numerator is greater. Okay, so that means option 2 is also wrong. That is not the correct answer. Let's go to the next one. Next one, even if you reduce, you're not going to get 7 by 8. Here it is 7 by 8, whereas here it's 7 by 360. Here it is 17 by 12. Here it is 17 by 360. 41 by 48. Here it is 41 by 360. That means option 3 is also wrong. That means... We don't have equivalent fractions for these fractions among the first three. So our answer is none of these option four because none of these answers are correct. So we have to choose option four. Question three. The difference between the fractions three by five and seven by ten is difference means we have to subtract. So whenever we are asked to find the difference between two numbers, we have to subtract the two numbers by putting the greater number first. So, which of these is the greater number? Let's find the greater number first. So, 3 by 5 and 7 by 10. To find the greater number, we have to find the LCM. The LCM of 5 and 10 is 10. So, that the denominators become the same. Now, look at the first fraction here, 3 by 5. 5 into what is 10? 5 into 2 is 10. So, let's write that here. 5 twos are 10. So, we multiply 3 also by 2. 3 twos are 6. Now let's go to the next fraction. The denominator is 10. 10 into 1 is 10. Since the denominator is the same, we can write the same numerator also. Okay. So now what do we have? We have 6 and 7. And which is smaller? 6 is smaller. 7 is greater. So that means 3 by 5 is smaller. 7 by 10 is greater. So we have to write 7 by 10 first and then subtract. So same way we write 7 minus 6 by 
10. We've already found the LCM and we found the new numerator. So 7 minus 6 is 1 and the denominator is 10. So what do we have here? 1, min, 1 by 10. Which is that option here? That is option 2. Option 2 is 1 by 10 and this is our answer. Question 4. So here we have 2 1 by 3 plus 4 1 by 3 minus 3 1 by 3. What is that equal to? So let's write these here. First thing you do is you have to convert them to improper fractions. So 3 2s are 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. So that becomes 7 by 3 plus the next one. 3 4s are 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. So that is 13 by 3 minus the next one. 3 3s are 9, 9 plus 1 is 10, 10 by 3. Now can you see they are all like terms because the denominators are all 3. So this becomes easy. So now our common denominator is 3. Let's write down the numerator 7 plus 13 minus 10. So let's do this first. 7 plus 13 is 20. 20 minus 10 is 10. So that is 10 by 3. Now let's convert 10 by 3 to a mixed number. How do we do that? We divide 10 by 3. 3 3s are 9 minus 10 minus 9 is 1. Now make this a mixed number. Take the quotient and write it as a whole number. Take the remainder and write it as a numerator. Denominator is the same as this. So denominator will be 3. 3 1 by 3 is our answer here. So we got 3, 1 by 3. Which option is that? Let's see. 3, 1 by 3 is option 1. Question 5. Which of the following is greater? 2 by 7 of 3 by 4 or 3 by 5 of 5 by 8? So either this is greater or this is greater or the third option is none of these. So let's see which is greater. So 2 by 5, 2 by 7 of 3 by 4. How much is that? Let's work that out and see. So 2 by 7 of means into 3 by 4 is how much? So we can cancel. Now in this multiplication, we can cancel the numerator, denominator. So 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4. So here what do we have? 3, multiply the numerators 3 and the denominator 7 2s are 40, 3 by 40. Now, on the other side, again, we have 3 by 5 of means into 5 by 8. What can be cancelled? We can cancel the 5s here. So, what do we have here? 3 by 8. Now, both are the same. That is, the numerators are the same. Now, when numerators are the same, the smaller denominator makes a greater fraction. Okay, when numerators are the same, the smaller denominator makes a greater fraction. That means this 3 by 8 is greater than 3 by 14. So 3 by 8 is actually this combination that is 3 by 5 or 5 by 8. Okay, so 3 by 8 is this, which is this. That is 3 by 5 or 5 by 8. Now, which is option 2 here? So the answer here is option 2. Question 6. By what number should 7 1 by 3 be multiplied to get 5 2 by 3? That is, if I take 7 1 by 3, by what should I multiply this to get 5 2 by 3? The first step, let's convert this to an improper fraction. 3 7s are 21 plus 1 22. So this is 22 by 3 into x, x is the unknown number, is equal to, convert here, 3 fives are 15, plus 2 is 17, 17 by 3. So now this is like a linear equation that we have studied. We have going to find the value of x by writing 17 by 3 on the side. Now we are going to transpose 22 by 3 to the other side. Because it is multiplication, here it becomes division. So let's write division. 22 by 3. So now let's solve for x. x is equal to 17 by 3. Division changes to multiplication. We write the reciprocal now. So this becomes 3 by 22. Now we can cancel 3 and 3. 
So now we have got the value of x. x is equal to, in the numerator we have 17, in the denominator we have 22. So we have the answer, the unknown number is 17 by 22. So let's look out here and see which one is it. 17 by 22 is option 3. So this is our answer. Question 7. The cost of 3 3 by 4 kg of apples is 600 rupees. The rate of apple per kg. So we know the cost of 3 3 by 4 kg. We have to find the cost of 1 kg. So 3 3 by 4 kg is equal to rupees 600. So let's convert this. 4 3s are 12. 50, 12 plus 3 is 15. 15 by 4 is equal to 600. So now we have to find the cost of 1 kg. If the cost of so much is 600 rupees, the cost of 1 kg will be division here. That is 600 rupees divided by 15 by 4. So let's do this division. 600 division changes to multiplication. This becomes the reciprocal 4 by 15. Now let's cancel. 15 ones are 15. 15 fours are 60 and add the 0. 15 into 40 is 600. Now let's multiply the numerators 40 into 4. 40 into 4, 4 fours are 16 and add a 0, 160. That means the cost of 1 kg of apples. Per kg means 1 kg of apples is 160 rupees. So let's write the rupees symbol here, 160 rupees. Now which option is that here? So 160 rupees is option 3. So this is our answer, option 3.